Joker lost to Shine's DK, yeah. so it kind of probably yeah, put that he, one back he, in the pocket. He was like, you know what? This is character that takes a lot more work than I thought. Mm -hmm. And right. he was pretty good from what I was seeing, so. Okay, yeah. <laughs> and, uh, alrighty. Well. Game one. No contest. All right. Fanta. You know what? I, I want to put a ban on gamers drinking soda during during uh, tournaments. Why? They, they should they should drink water. <laughs> I'll allow energy drinks just because they like actually like give you. I mean, I mean, soda has water in it, right? Dang, you're not wrong. <laughs> you're not wrong. <laughs> but. <yeah. laughs> Anyways, we can talk about Justin Wong's soda tier list later. <laughs> no, but here we go. <laughs> <laughs> let's go into this first match here. Eon and K9S Bruce starting off in Pokemon Stadium. Yeah, this is game number one. That was Slow interesting. He like so jump far? air dodged. Yeah. I think he didn't mean to do that. Either that or he was just trying to play a triple mind play there and uh, catch him trying to press a button at a disadvantage. Not quite sure, but still keeping him off stage. Oh, and he read that side B too, but just didn't quite have the right reaction in time. Yeah, pulled the trigger just a little bit too late. Nonetheless, K9 has a decent percent lead right here. But the trick is, like, the, the reason he had that percent lead is because he kept Eon in the corner. And it looked like Eon was starting to recreate that himself a little bit. Um, but they're just kind of trading positions back and forth here on the right side of the stage. Yeah, I think in general, the Wolf is really good at keeping Fox at bay with the less trapping. For but sure. once Fox is able to return back to neutral, he has the speed to be able to reversal the situation yeah. very easily against a character like Wolf. But we'll have to see, though. Both of these two are relatively even percents, and you kind of tell they're kind of just looking for weak nair or like that grab that they want to be able to start something. There we go. Put him off stage one more time. No edge guard, though. But he catches him with the four tilt. Not enough to do it yet. Okay, back onto the stage, tries to uh, get that two frame with another forward tilt, up smash on, K9 shield not going to do it. And neither will that back throw, actually, surprisingly, from center stage. I mean, back throw will certainly kill uh, from one of the corners right now. Yeah, sometimes if it's high enough, then you can kill yeah. off the top with it, too, but yeah. we'll have to see. Looks like Eon's just trying to focus on that survivability. Both of them kind of rely on stray hits sometimes to be able to try and seal out the stock if they don't. Uh, find their early percent setups, especially at high percents like this. It can be kind of difficult to just find that stray hit that kills the stock. Yeah, and it really becomes, oh no! Is he going to get it again? Dashes back. But yeah, you're saying like it, it's difficult to find these stray hits, and it becomes a battle of stray hits, in particular because both of them have very like similar play styles. They're, they're both very willing to like uh, play a non-committal gameplay, right? So when they see that they're in a in super red percents they're like well i'm gonna die if i like do anything unsafe so yeah. i'm just gonna do only things that are safe no commitment like no no like high risk high reward option to see if i get this stock like no i'm just gonna wait until you mess up right all right but here we go he's got okay get up attack actually catches him on the landing that time around and canines Rolling away with this lead so far. I mean, this is a light character like Fox. One down smash at the ledge. And oh my god, those rising backers not quite doing it, but the up smash out of shield will seal it out. Yeah, really good uh, play there from Eon in the corner. I mean, he was pressuring him so much with those backers um, that really uh, K9 was only really left with that one option, which was to try to time the roll. And once he landed and he rolled there, uh, because of how quick he can land with that backer and have like little lag, he just was in the perfect position to get that up smash. And so he was able to punish it right out of shield. Uh, he's doing it with punishes now. Kind of figuring out K9 is trying to get those weak nares and just staying right outside range. And of course, Fox can burst in and be able to get that damage. But finally, a back air will clip Fox in the air before he can do anything. Ooh. Uh, just moves away, trying to avoid this uh, really dangerous uh, hitbox on Wolf's up special. Mm -hmm. And of course, Fox is up to uh -oh. a very strong move that you can use. Oh, that's my No, not quite. Yeah, Fox is up to especially after parry, such a strong tool because you're basically at zero or even after the up tilt, so you can do anything afterwards too. Oh my god, K9 with a massive lead right here, 85% already on Eon, still living. Ooh, perfectly timed down smash, Eon still living. Of course, that Wolf Flash won't uh, sweet spot to the ledge, so he, Wolf will be vulnerable to that. I like what he tried to do. He tried to 
just drift normally and then fast fall at the last second to get the wolf flash so it would be harder to react to. Yeah. But Eon just was one step ahead and he just, he just knew he was like, you're too far out, so you're probably going to wolf flash anyway. So just a mix up on a mix up there. Eon and K9, though, still high percent on both ends. Either of them could die to anything at this point. Yeah, definitely um, really even game right here. Despite the percent deficit, I mean, I do have to give it a slight favor to Wolf just because he hits a lot harder and Fox is a lot lighter. But the frame data, far superior on Fox. So he can maintain safety and he gets the down air into the up smash. Eon from the depths of hell, bringing it back and taking that game number one. Yeah, we're playing the Smash 4 here. The, the dare to, to up smash, I'll be able to do it. I so now we're 1-1, uh, we're oh. one, one, I believe. Yes. Yeah. 1-1. One, one. Will Eon do the switch, though? Because that was another close game, so... It's possible. Uh, uh, we did mention he has the Pichu, he has the Pokemon Trainer. Um, personally, I would say, like, Pichu or Pokemon Trainer, they both have downers that, like, spike. Ivysaur, in particular, that spike. And, like... Ivysaur's down air is like really stressful for me as a wolf player. Right. <laughs> like, like, yeah, but it uh, looks like he's sticking with the fox. Maybe if he gets bod bodied this next game, maybe he'll just start thinking of the switch. But so far, doing a really good job, even getting that little extra laser damage. 44% here. Ooh, okay. okay. Intercepts him. Oh, the hitbox wasn't quite out long enough to be able to intercept the illusion that time around. Yeah, definitely the right calls from K9, though. Landing neutral air, gets the grab, and just tossing Eon back off stage. Just trying to control the center stage as much as he uh, possibly can. Yeah. Try to read a side B to the Ooh. stage. Oh, yeah. Eon kind of getting caught up and saying, uh, okay, let's try and do like double jump mix ups and height mix ups to try and catch K9 a little bit off guard. But K9 just intercepted him and said, okay, you know what? You're just staying in the air over here next to the ledge where you're in range for my back air, Ooh. so that'll be able to do it. Okay. Got hit out of his up special, was still able to use Wolf Flash to get back nonetheless. Eon ready to meet him with that up smash, taking mm -hmm. that stock off. And uh, we're down to two apiece. K9 again, just holding down this center stage, uh, waiting for Eon to kind of close the zone a little bit, and then waiting for his opportunity to attack. Yeah, you can tell Fox is just trying to wait and see this for his opportunity, but he's at low percent, so he's going to be broken out of a lot of things because of the hit sun. We'll have to see, though. Down smash sends him to the other side. Yeah, that down smash actually really scary because uh, it caught the roll in, obviously the second hit of down smash hitting. Um, but if... Like at with that same timing, if Eon had committed to like a get up attack or, or normal, it might have even reached a normal get up. So like it covered a lot of options except every option except jump right there. Mm -hmm. Ooh, Naird sends him off stage one more time. Big opportunity here. Gonna have to use that up B, but the down smash not quite gonna be able to clip. And that's a big opportunity. Very nice. Waited for the air dodge that time around. I think he was also trying to wait for the Nair to come out as well so that he could get an up smash trade. But it worked either way. Alright, K9 throwing him off stage with that forward air and just intercepting with the neutral air. Really great play from K9, bringing it back to an even count. Well, the parry doesn't actually up tilt that time around. Must have been uh, unintentional, maybe, because uh, usually uh, Fox will always want to up tilt because uh, it's frame three. So you can pretty much always guarantee a hit after a parry with that. All right, what's his opportunity here? K9 swinging with the smash attacks and the up where it's hitbox of down smash, actually uh, anti-airing Eon there. Yep, the, the day one wolf classic <laughs> as well, the up smash into down smash. <laughs> Very potent nice. move, especially when you're trying to find a punish. Oh, the oh, trades! Yo. Oh, <laughs> the beats him out again! <laughs> yo, that move's supposed to be an anti-air. What happened? <laughs> oh, boy, but putting him off stage one more time. Big opportunity. That Firefox is very clutch there. I thought it was going to get clipped by that uh, forward tilt, but not quite. This is all or nothing. Eon playing at the ledge, holding down the center, just retreating. He's in dire states right now, 156. Definitely in a position where he can get this KO. Back throw? Not Finds a corner, yeah. Very nice corner, DI. Ooh. Doesn't die off the top. Oh, man, you can just tell Eon is just trying to be so... Oh, oh no, my God, no way. No! <laughs> no! No, 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 
I'm leaving, dude. Oh my god, I can't believe that just happened. <laughs> That was one of those things where it's like, I clearly outplayed you, but you know no, what? You just outplayed dude, me he too. Got, he got robbed, dude. He got scammed. He got scammed, dude. He was promised, like, he was like, yo, I, he, you bought this game. Ultimate's really great. Fox is a really good character, man. He, You know, he's he's the leader of the Star Fox bunch. And the protagonist of his series, he's going to be the best Spacey, man. Are you sure? That was so unfortunate. <laughs> I can't believe it. If he, he had to have gotten that meat, he had to get the meteor hitbox too. Obviously, yeah, like, dude. oh my god. All right. Well, anyways. Oh my. After word. that tragic edge card attack, <laughs> we're going on to Kalos here. Wider space for both these characters. I think Fox has a much better time here, uh, just because he's got the speed to be able to get around a lot of Wolf's projectiles and the way he approaches. So, we'll see how this goes down. And already starting off, uh, putting him at the ledge control here. Yeah, this is a um, not a bad stage for Wolf as well. I mean, having all this room to kind of like back up and uh, get your game plan started there is is nice as well. But it, like, I would put it in in Fox's favor just because of how much faster he is, as you said. Mm -hmm. Yeah, sometimes it's a matter between speed and power, and yeah. on the long stages, it's the speed game that we're gonna see here. But here we go. He's got the ledge control. I mean, it's been difficult for K9 to really get anything started. He's usually getting the damage off of the trades this time around, but Eon controlling the pace of the match this time around. All right, he's got him back at the ledge. Ledge trump into the back air. What a great play from Eon. And he didn't even actually go for, like, a traditional um, ledge trump. Like, he didn't slip off the ledge. He actually jumped onto the ledge. Mm hmm yeah, that's very smart because he puts him outside of the range of a potential wolf flash that clips him yeah. there. And then also because Fox is fast folly, he's fast enough where it's still difficult to react to a potential ledge trump. Usually you're expecting like the jump back air or something like that to mm -hmm. put, put you off stage. But not that time. He just went for the ledge trump and just kept him off guard. All right, down air. That's going to get him a dash attack and a back air on this platform. I love the way Eon's playing right now. Not over committing to anything off stage after how he saw... Uh, the way he lost game, that last game, he was like, you know, I'm probably just going to play a grounded, grounded game. Yeah. Oh, wow, that up tilt trade, it didn't, didn't even look like it came out. Finally, the smash will be able to do it, but still 108% for K9's second stock here. I'm just waiting for like one week there, and I will be able to <laughs> seal it out for K9's stock. But you can tell he's uh, being very careful. He doesn't want to accept any more trades. Ooh, okay. Dash attack here from Eon. He's got such great control of the neutral. Drag down forward air into the down smash. Dude, Eon is playing with fire right now. Yeah, I haven't seen that in a while. I, I think the last time I actually saw that on a stream was uh, Smash 4. But yeah, that's still in this game. You can always do fair drag downs, and I'll be able to do it. Very nice stuff. Already overlapping the stocks, basically, on this last stock here. <laughs> and one tool, I mean, we've seen just how much the neutral air does. I, also, I have to point out the fact that I think it's kind of funny how Dash Tech and, and uh, Nair have, like, the same animation. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, like, uh, such a good tool, like, um, especially the, the rising neutral airs. It, like, you land on him with a uh, neutral air, pops him up. And then you hit him with an, a rising neutral air. Like, Wolf is just in the perfect spot to, to keep getting comboed hor horizontally. Mm -hmm. Alright, guess that Nair. This is every time it looks like that Eon's been wait, winning oh. the air to air Ooh. just by using and putting out his Nair a little bit earlier. Up smash, I'll be able to do it. I feel like K9 just kind of accepted that game that was going to go to Eon. Yeah, look at. Look, look, he definitely, like, looked like he kind of threw it away there with the up smash. Uh, I mean, Eon sitting very patiently in shield. Very easy punish for him to get afterwards. So. Yeah. All right. Going to Stadium 2 this time again. All right. Game number four, right? We're 2-1 two, we're two, in Eon's favor. Yep. Let's see how this one goes because that was a two-stock for Eon on his counter pick. So k is going to have to try and bring this back around. He probably banned the, like I said, probably banned the small stages just so that Wolf is not in his face all the time. So he's still got room to work with, but there's the lower platform, or excuse me, the lower ceiling, so Wolf can kill reasonably earlier. Yeah. 
All right, yes, and Nair and actually catches an option out of shield, looks like. Maybe it was a jump, so he was able to get that back air, it looked like. Oh, so many up airs. Three, in fact, connecting. Make that four, Eon, racking up the damage. Uh, still trailing by a little bit, but just playing that evasive game after getting those confirms. Oop, yeah, just going to spot dodge, use those jabs. Ledge option, what's it going to be? Oh, I like that. Uses a single jab to try and check the roll, and even then, afterwards, he mistimed it, but he's still safe afterwards. Either that or it's a misinput, I don't know. I, I could ju I'm just giving Eon potential credit. Ooh, oh, missed tech! Yeah, and the perfectly executed forward smash there by the ledge. Eon taking that first stock. Okay, there we go. It finds the tech chase situation, especially at the ledge there. Yeah. It's very obvious that they want to come in towards the stage, so that was a good psychological move from K9. Yeah, I like that from Eon. He just jumps away, and then every time he thinks that he's going to try and intercept them, he just pulls out an up smash. And it's kind of like in traditional fighters, too. You use a double jump to try and bait out an anti-air, and then you can punish it afterwards. Very All smart right. from Eon. Yeah, people who are trying to say that parrying ain't good, not worth it. You just saw Eon get 50% off of getting a parry into dash tag, and then mm -hmm. just rolled with that momentum. Yeah. I mean, it is only a three-frame advantage, but uh, for characters like Fox, it's very good. Especially, yeah, because <laughs> he has such a quick move, so you can still intercept him yeah. during that advantage state. Other characters, a little bit too slow, so it might be difficult for them to find what they're looking for. But so far, it's still uh, bursting in with that damage, 107% already. Okay, great forward errors coming out from K9. Tries to charge up that forward smash. Neon just going to land on him. Oh, yeah, that time around, he tried to wait. Usually when you're in shield like that on the ledge, you want to try and jump out of there. He was looking for it, but still going to clip him with that up smash. And this is the uh, what I'm starting to see on employ a little bit more are those parries. He's kind of uh, you know, harassing him as much as he can, going in for these high damaging combos, and then going back to center stage and just baiting K9 to land on him with an aerial. Like, land on my shield with an aerial, I dare you, because I'm going to parry it and I'm going to make you eat another 50% or you're just going to die right. because I got an up smash that's mm -hmm. fast. Oh, another grab. Can I kind of jumping in his seat realizing that the potential to win this set is slowly fading away for him. And that turnaround grab, not quite going to be able to do it. Eon still keeping up with the juggles. You can tell Canine's just trying to find something to work here. But Eon's just on top of him. Gets that forward smash. That'll seal out the stock 3-1 for Eon. 3-1 indeed.